Major League Baseball All-Star Game returned to its glorious form in 2021 after being absent due to the pandemic in 2020. It was back and it was one of the most glorious, epic All-Star Games in baseball history. Baseball News Club presents our top 10 Major League All-Star moments in no particular order. Like always, please subscribe. Please follow us on Instagram. Number 10, Trey Mancini, by far one of the greatest stories in Major League Baseball in 2021, 16 months after being diagnosed with stage 3 colon cancer. He comes in second to Polar Bear for the Home Run Derby. Absolutely epic battle and an incredible comeback story. Number 9 will be the Home Run Derby itself. Amazing show. Hometown hero Trevor Story there, Shohei to Juan Soto to Polar Bear winning his second home run and then all those 500 foot blasts by Juan Soto and Polar Bear. Like always, home run derby, absolutely loved by the fans. Coming in at number 8, the Tim Anderson snub. Not only was he snubbed in years past for the All-Star, he was almost snubbed this time before a player opted out. The 2019 batting champ was not played to bat, but only played the field, thus creating controversy with Tim Anderson against the coach, Kevin Cash. Coming in at number 7, one of the most scary moments in All-Star game history, Vladimir Guerrero Jr. almost hitting Max Scherzer in the head with a line drive right up the middle. It actually went within about a foot of his head, and luckily, nothing happened, but scary moment at the All-Star game for sure. Number 6, Shohei Otani's perfect 1-2-3 first inning against some of the best players in Major League Baseball. He got Fernando Tatis Jr. to fly out to the outfield, and then he got Max Muncy for a ground out for the second out, and then hometown favorite Nolan Arenado, ground out, perfect 1-2-3 inning, and Shohei, how can you not love this kid? Coming in at number 5, Jared Walsh, sliding catch, perhaps one of the greatest catches in All-Star Game history. Situation, American League up 5-2, bottom 8, 2 outs, 3-0 count, bases loaded. If this would have got by him, National League would have went up. Jared Walsh, first baseman, game-saving catch. Coming in at number 4, the Hank Aaron tribute. Hammer and Hank, one of the greatest and most respected players in Major League Baseball history. MLB honored him with the framed jersey and then a painting showing Aaron's journey when he was younger. What initially turned into a tribute started turning into an uncomfortable moment as they had his wife Billy out there and just had her staring at the pitcher for it seemed like minutes on minutes and it looked like MLB was trying to get her to cry. So a good moment kind of turned into an uncomfortable moment. Coming in at number 3, Nolan Arenado's standing ovation. Returning home to Colorado where he played for the majority of his career, the fans gave him a standing ovation and in fact, there wasn't the only one. Continuously throughout the game, he received ovations from his former loving fans in Colorado. Number 2, Vladimir Guerrero Jr. hitting a home run and winning the MVP. Not only has it been a great breakout year for Vladdy, but he and his dad Vladimir Guerrero Sr. joined Ken Griffey Jr and senior, along with Bobby and Barry Bonds, is the only father-son combinations that hit home runs in the All-Star game. He's also the youngest to homer in the game since Johnny Bench, who did it in 1969 at the age 21. Before we reveal our number one pick, we're going to give honorable mention, starting with Max Scherzer, had his fourth All-Star start, one of six pitchers in MLB history to do that, then Zanino and JT's catcher home runs, two catchers hitting home runs, also enjoyed having the mic'd up sessions between the umpire and Ozzy Albies. That was a lot of fun. Liam Hendricks getting the save. And then slightly something you might have noticed. Out with the old, went in with the new. Shohei, Vladdy, Fernando, Acuna, all the great young talent that's changing the game was well represented. And perhaps one of my favorite moments was when the Big Hurt snubbed A-Rod. A-Rod was bothering the Big Hurt, trying to force him to pick his favorite all-star player. And instead of being baited into the conversation, being the true Hall of Famer, the Big Herd answered, as long as there's lots of growth in the game worldwide. Burn. And the number one moment for the 2021 All-Star Game by far was fans in the stands for us. We're fans too. We're all fans of the game. 2020, the pandemic eliminated that experience for us, but hey, we're back. We're filling up stadiums, and this was a great All-Star Game. It was the first All-Star Game since the pandemic. Fans in the stands, that's what makes the game what it is. We're the ones that pour our love, our money, and our life into these teams. This game means more to us than any owner can ever imagine, but it's great seeing the faces on all the fans smiling, enjoying the game. Even during the HR Derby, there was fans 30 rows away cheering for the fan who just caught the HR ball, and that's what it's about. 
fans in the stands. Thank you for watching. Baseball News Club signing out.